Okay, so let's get back to it. I just finished the uh, male mute sidekick route, and now I'm about to try the harem route, which is where I get to have both Kyane and mute along with me. Which I believe I can do now. Let's give it a shot. It should show up, I think. As an option. When I'm making a new game. Yeah, it's the survey thing. Please feel... Yep, here we go. <laughs> Which AI did you get the documents from? Both. How would you describe her attitude to you? Uh, well, there's only one. It's not... I mean, there's multiple, not just one. Um... What should I go with? Not resentful. What the hell? Let's make this fun. Flirty. <laughs> Let's go with flirty. And once again, I'm playing a male again. So, male harem route. That sounds weird to say. Male harem route. <laughs> Which year would you rather live in? Let's go with the same as before, 2027. It's probably pretty good. All right, that, great, that's all of it. I'll set it off to them now. You're still, what, three days or so away from Earth? I'll talk to you then. Dispatch control out. Okay, new color scheme this time. This is going to be really, really, really weird. Okay. Unread message, which I'm sure is the same thing that I've gotten before. Hard shell inquiry, yep. All right, are there any new messages to read? that I have not previously read. Oh, hold on. Before that, let me make sure this, what does it say? I'm upgrading ourselves with that. Oh yeah, the English to Korean dictionary you got us. Should only take a few minutes, Mute and Hyun-A. Let's see how they like each other. Okay, um. I believe I've read all of this. My Awakening, yeah, I read that. I really like how the color scheme completely changes. Doing the different playthroughs is really cool. Today I'm at mute. Yep, yeah, alright. I've read yeah, I've read all of this. First midday report. Yep. That's mute after having been woken up. After the year zero. Getting back on her feet, figuratively speaking. For she is an AI and does not have feet. Yeah, definitely read all of this. No reason to read it again. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention it before, but if for some reason you're watching this without having seen any of my previous videos playing Hate Plus, keep in mind this is for completionists that have already seen everything that I've done before, where I read everything, so I'm, I'm not going to be reading any text that isn't new. So, yeah, if this is the first video you're seeing for some reason, then it's going to be a very bad playthrough for you. So it's not meant for people that are new to the game, this is meant for people that have already seen me or seen someone play through it. Just, just putting that out there, just in case. If for some reason you're, this is the first video you've seen, well, it's going to be weird. Hello! How is this going to work? Uh, hi. Um... Yeah. It's Hyone's fault, okay? Ugh, mute. <laughs> no, it isn't. It was a debug that screwed everything up, not me. You're the one who decided to force a cross-compile on an unsupported architecture. What did you think would happen? But... Jeez, now that we've wasted that advanced dictionary program that he so kindly got for us... But you're the one who told me to try that. And I quote, Those builds should totally work just fine. Just force it, okay? Uh... Anyway, uh, the bottom line is that we can't really hear anything you're saying, like... English to Korean translation is completely broken. Yeah. If I tried to translate the ship's name, it just comes out as... Uh, the ship's name is White Princess. I know that, I'm just using it as an example of how English to Korean translation doesn't work. Jeez. Of course I remember what the name is, from back when it did work. Jeez, watch your text box size, okay? That's my face you're covering. Wait. <laughs> the text box was covering her face. <laughs> That's my face you're covering. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I can't help it. I, I can't help it. It's language. It's a language that I don't understand. Translated English text takes up so much more space than... Tangle? I don't really get it. Stop babbling, Hyunae. 
Can we focus on what's important, please? I'm sorry, sir. Will you please forgive me for breaking things? You're forgiven. Don't worry about it. It's fine, and don't call me sir. That's creepy. Thanks. I knew there was a reason why I liked you. You're very fair. Ahem. <clears throat> Yane? Yes? You too? Yes, I think that's fair too? Uh, no, jeez, ask him for forgiveness too. Show some respect. Mute, stop bullying Yane, for Christ's sake. Really? <laughs> fine, fine, I'm sorry. Uh, forgive me? <laughs> it's not your fault. Would that be like blaming Mute for it? I don't know. You're... You're forgiven? You don't need to ask my forgiveness, but sure. See? Of course it wasn't a problem. Jeez. Oh, then thank him, Hyane. Oh my god, Mute! Fine. Thanks. Uh, anyway. Okay, okay. Can we, Can we get to the important part, please? I've been trying to, but you keep interrupting me. Jeez. Right, uh... While we were offline debugging, we found some weird data embedded in Mute's source code. Uh, like, it's not just weird data. Their log files timestamped from before year zero. Also, they're embedded in U2. Our actual base code is identical. We're the same program. Jeez, no I'm not. Please, I don't want to have this argument again. Look, the important part here is that it's pre-year -ze zero log files. Wait. Even you want to find out what happened that made everything fall apart? Hyane? No, never mind. I'm not even going to say it. Say what? Never mind, okay? Say what? Look. We've all read my earliest memories. You know that nobody ever really trusted me with the full story. Well, maybe that's a sign of something. <laughs> You spoiled brat. Don't you get it? It was the great Emperor Taijo's decision. It's not my place to challenge him. I can't believe we have the same base code, yet no respect for your superiors at all. Why couldn't you have gotten that from me? It's not... Okay, look, it doesn't matter. What's important is, we both want to find out what happened, right? Yes. Absolutely. Well? And you, sir? What if I said I don't care? Would, like, the game end right here? Like, okay, well, I'm not gonna find out what happened. That's the end of the game. Goodbye. I'll just have a silent trip and play Sudoku back all the way back to Earth. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Yay! That's really wonderful of you. It'll be great, won't it? Investigating together as your sidekicks. Uh, I just want to find out what happened, okay? That's it. Just husband... <laughs> just husband and wife and wife. <laughs> this is amazing. Husband and wife and wife. Ah, oh, jeez, Hyane. I am not his wife and neither are you. That isn't your decision to make, it's his. So, I, what? Sun Sun? How, what is... I don't even know what that means or even how to pronounce it. That's you. Stop projecting onto me, okay? I'm not project... It doesn't matter. Please, please, please. Let's get back to business, okay? You're just making this poor gentleman uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable. I'm actually digging this. This is hilarious. Keep going. My apologies for Hyane, sir. Please forgive her. Jeff, you don't need my forgiveness for every little thing. I'm not your master. Anyway. Uh, so... Whoa, whoa, wait, what was that? Hold on, don't interrupt her. So here's this weird thing where... Here, let me explain. Wow, mute. You were very bossy. And do you want the long technical version, or... Sure, I've already heard this explanation multiple times, but just in case there's something new, I'll do it again. Okay. Basically, you know what, I just can't... Yeah. Just see if anything new happens here. Too conservative. Right. <laughs> Wait. 
So how can two of us coexist at the same time, then? Shouldn't it have the same problem? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, wait. Maybe you got it wrong? No, definitely not. You're right. Like, no matter how you look at it, there's no way we should be both be able to be activated at the same time. I don't get it. Well, like, it should be impossible. Wasn't it also impossible for him to have found that log file they showed you in order to get us together in the first place? <laughs> yeah, I've... I heard that there's... There was something when you play through the game, uh, when you play through Analog Hay Story, there's some way to rescue both of the AIs, Hyune and Mute, but apparently you can't do that on your first playthrough, like, you have to know something in advance, so you have to play through the game once, learn the thing that you have to do, and then do it when you play through it again. Now, I played through it, and I don't remember finding anything that would tell me how to... that would find the log file that... There's apparently a log file that allowed you to get both of them together. I don't remember finding that, so either for some reason I didn't get it, because of a particular pathway that I took through the game, or I just missed it, or forgot it? I don't know. So yeah, this is a little bit more fourth wall breaking talking about the first game. This should be impossible. Like, within the story of the game, it, this doesn't make any sense to have them both together. And the fact that Christine Love actually went so far as to make one of the major playthroughs of the game that you can do, and write totally unique content for it, and allow you to play through the game like this, in a way that within the game's universe isn't isn't even supposed to exist, is mind-blowingly awesome. Like, who does that? You're not even supposed to be able to have both of them together. But not only can you do it, but she actually wrote an entire unique run through the game as it like this, with it like this. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, actually. Just because our route isn't canon doesn't mean our feelings aren't real. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it too much, okay? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Um, anyway. Okay, okay. So, basically, you'll have to disable us, then extract no more than six files at a time. It's a safety precaution, okay? Otherwise, there might be accidental damage, so, like, let's be careful. Yes, please. Right, well, let's get to it, then. You're in charge, so we'll just leave it up to you to decide what to read. Let's find out what Emperor Taijo was protecting me from together, okay? Let's find out why the future sucked so much. Yes, let's do that. No, <laughs> whatever, let's just get to it, okay? So yeah, I don't think... I, it looks like I can still change Shane's outfit. But I don't think I can change mutes. Nah. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, well, let's put her back... Uh, let's go for the detective. Just want to see what it looks like again. I still like the scientist one the most. Yeah, I really like the scientist one. Okay. Let's extract some documents and get to it. Well, now I'm definitely not going to be reading any of these texts, because I've read them all. Once, and then kind of skim them again. Within the last couple days, so uh, yeah, I'm good. Just go with M1. Just get to it. Don't even know what I got, but I'm going to extract it. Let's crush a rebellion. Efficient and subtle. Election night, elegant center cat like grin, and daily report for something. Fuck yo family gatherings. I really can't wait to see how they react to these documents as I'm reading them, as as they're both reading them with me. They're gonna be like shoving each other out of the way. Sorry, Mr. Investigator, but could you please click on me? Yay, it works. Uh, of course it works. I just wanted to make sure we were able to get your attention properly. I'll use that as an indicator from now on, alright? Yes, Yane, I'm sure he isn't stupid. He's the impressive space detective who rescued us. He can travel through space faster than the speed of light. There's no need to handhold him through basic UI functions. Jeez, I'm sorry. 
Anyway, uh, can we please, like, get to the important part? Did you see that there's a log file right at the end, named The Death of Mute? I really want to find out what's in that, but right now it's encrypted, so I don't think we'll be able to get at it today. We're trying, though. Yes, yes. Anyway, let's stop wasting his time. Also, uh, by the way, I changed the name field on all of them uh, that just said Mute to Old Mute, just so there's no confusion with me, okay? Anyway, you're the man, so I'll let you get back to it. Lead on, Mr. Investigator. Let's crush a rebellion. Mute. Yes, I see. <laughs> it's gonna be so weird having them both commenting. Wait, what? Uh, what's wrong with that, Mute? That's your... <laughs> Oh my god, they're going to be at each other's throats constantly. That's your criticism, Hyone? Scary. Worse than scary. Disrespectful. She's an AI. There's no excuse for leaving men waiting like that. Well, yeah, but... Public demonstrations? Whoa. Yeah, things were heating up. Wow, she's even sarcastic to men. Mute. I know, that's awful. Banditry? On the Magungwa? Hmm. What was that? I don't. I don't know. What, what was what? Ryu, as in Captain and Emperor Ryu. Yes, exactly. Ryu Hyun-su was the birth name of the Dynasty founder, Emperor Taijo. Election night. Oh, dramas. I like those too. Uh, like, is this another one of your Odegu things? <laughs> Man, now that it's... Oh, oh, jeez, what does he mean? Her husband was doing... The maids? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, he liked the maids a lot. Yep. Now that it's updating both of their expressions, as I scroll down, it's actually making scrolling even slower. Like, I'm, I'm scrolling constantly, and look at how fast it goes. Yeah, it's really slow. Wow, Xiao Yang is really scary. Wow, women working really are as emotional as you'd think. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, just because he's dead, doesn't mean you shouldn't show respect, Hyone. This whole thing with those two women, uh, women just doesn't feel right, though. It's still shocking that, like, she was responsible for putting the first emperor into power. What's up with this tone? Oh, it's sweet. Oh yeah, this is between Mute and Hyo So Young. It is. It was so cute. Then she offered me a sincere smile with elegance and grace in her cat-like grin. You know, even the current Mute does have like a cat-like grin, doesn't she? Especially with those little teeth that point out at the sides of her mouth. Like those really pointy vampire teeth. She does have a cat-like grin. What? Ugh. Of course I'm not jealous. Wait, did I miss something? Like, am I scrolling too fast? I feel like she's responding to... 
I'm not sure if she's responding to what she just read. Or responding to Hyane. I might be scrolling too fast. How unprofessional. Yeah, Seo Young and Old Mute were not particularly professional. How inappropriate. <laughs> I think she's the most gorgeous she's ever looked. Gray hair and all. I bet it would make Mr. Investigator's heart skip a beat, too. I don't care about that, okay? <laughs> uh, can I replace you with a large potted plant? <laughs> I just love this note that's been added to the end of it. Do not ever do this again, Seo Young. It is embarrassing on every level and not the point of daily reports. I will replace you with a large potted houseplant if you ever turn in a report that's unprofessional again, okay? <laughs> huh. Wow, this boy swears so much. Yes, he does. Like, even a retrograde family, this disrespectful atti attitude is inexcusable. I like playing Huatu. Or however you pronounce that. Huatu 2, though. The cards are pretty. Uh, but, like, you didn't play any games like that, right? I, uh, who is this base woman, a woman, and why is she in their home? Yeah, I know how this story ends. Yeah, this is Mimi. What? Of course knowing the classics is important. So even then, they were using Chinese characters. That's so stupid. Okay, so, so some of their comments are what they just said before individually, but they just happen to be saying it together. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> They're saying the same thing here. Jeez, but he has a wife. See, Hyone? That's what happens to wives who act like shrews. Oh, mute. What is he saying? Maybe you're too sensitive to be reading this. It's cute in a way, I suppose. Is this how adults are? Uh, kinda. Oh wow, I misread that one. Well, if he's a man, that's okay. We've been at this for a while. Uh, hey. I'm doing just fine, but I think Hyane could really use a break from all this reading. Huh? I'm fine. I'm happy to get back to it. Okay, fine. I could really use a break. Mute, are you seriously trying to push that off on other people? Come on. I'm feeling... I don't know. I guess it's like... Culture shock. Oh, I know what that's like. I'm really sorry. Oh, shut up. I don't want pity. I just, like, need a few minutes to recontextualize things. Do you think that would be okay? Sure, let's take a break. Okay, thanks. I'd appreciate that too, really. Okay, okay. I feel like the big thing to me is, like, what is up with the Hyo family? I was attached to the Ryu family for 312 years, and I've seen a lot, okay? Like, I've seen shit as crazy as adoptive... Uh, God, let me try that again. I've seen shit as crazy as adoptive heirs taking the throne, and a queen who secretly manipulated the emperor behind his back. But I've never seen anything from a respectable, noble family that's anything like what the Hyo family was like. Does... That seem normal to you? Uh, it, it happens. It happens. Really? I guess even in your world, it can't be helped. So like, 
Is that why you're not married? It's too hard to find good women who understand how roles work? <sighs> no, it's not that. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I guess there's no way you can explain that to me easily like this. Um, are you sure he understood your original question, though? What? <laughs> it's rude to patronize a man like that. Of course he understood. Uh, and we're back to mute being like this. Well, I kind of didn't... Uh, so, could you please explain what you mean by that? <sighs> really? Isn't it obvious? Really? It's a family led by a woman. Like, Old Mute was clearly attached to the family for a long time, but... How did it even happen that the main branch of the Hyo family was run by a woman without any sons? Like, that's inherently a dead end. Even ignoring the unsuitability of a woman for that kind of responsibility, like... A Hyo woman couldn't have a son named Hyo, so how does the branch even continue? Why are you looking at me? Well, you're from the barbaric past. Was that a normal thing as far back as your times, too? Uh, let me think. Yeah, I think so. I mean... I remember that was a pretty normal thing in all my books, but I was pretty young, so... Still, if it was in your books, it's not like your parents would have given you books full of stuff they realized was morally depraved or something. Yeah, probably not. So how did that work, then? Like, would the branch just change? Would one of their sons be adopted into the Hyo family, or what? Like, how would Old Mute know what person to be associated with after Xiao Yang was gone? Would she just suddenly change families? Like, what would her relationship be? Uh, I'm sorry, I have no idea. Oh. Sorry, I wish I could tell you, but... Uh, I was really young when I got frozen, remember? That's not the sort of thing 13-year-olds worry about. Okay, okay. Uh, hey, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Really? Uh, you're kind of crying. Oh, sorry, it's just... That's the first time anyone's ever been willing to take my views on how things were in the past seriously. Or given any sort of credit to my real parents. Aww. Oh. Oh, Yane. Thank you so much, Mute. Oh, but they're bonding! They're bonding! Maybe they're not going to be at each other's throats completely. They're actually bonding. Okay, okay, let's just get back to work, okay? Maybe somehow it'll make more sense to me as I read. Thank you. Please, knock it off, cheese. Mr. Investigator, rescue me from her. Alright, let's grab another block. I believe I can grab one more. Once again, let's just keep taking the basic same route of what I extract, go just up in the M's, pretty much. So let's finish M1. If there's more, yep. Alright, M2. So cool. So all these are extracting. How's everyone out there doing, huh? You having a good day? I hope you are. Rendezvous in the dark. I hate the mornings after. Yeah. And we are back to... This. Okay. Mm. Ah, please talk to me. God, I keep hating reading all these. Just being reminded of what happened. All right, all right. 41, 41, 41. Let's look at the reviews again. So this is the good review. Wait, mixed sex theater? I don't know about that. Huh? Wouldn't you like have to worry about passions running too high? If you say so. That was pretty much my reaction, Yane. All right, this is the bad review from much later when they were doing crappy, schlocky stuff in the theater and their uh, their business was going down. Tamed, huh? That isn't really funny. She's lighting up, Yane. 
Just calling it tamed was kind of creepy. Sorry. I still don't understand why these were included, though. They're boring, too. Alright, let's just read this. <sighs> it's painful to think about this. Got engaged to a woman? Good for him. He's responsible. No. I start in the flower girl and the actor. She writes really cutely. Like she, yes, she does. And this is what happens when peasant girls... Uh, so this is what happens when peasant girls learn to write, huh? Well, I think it's cute. Embarrassing. She's really charming, someone like that. What are you saying? Would be awful nice to be with... Gah. <laughs> Who even says things like, get chance? What's wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but like I said before, I don't get it. What the hell does it mean, get chance? Lucky get chance. What, is, what does that mean? I literally don't even know what that means. Alright, the hairpin. Wait, wasn't Hyo a noble name back then? Here, while I'm scrolling down through this, let me get my mouse closer to the microphone. Okay. Well, it's not that close, but here, maybe you can hear the scrolling more. Yes, my Let's Plays now come with realistic scrolling sounds. Yeah, I'd expect an actor who was also a woman to be that dramatic. Ah, mute. I don't need to scroll that fast, of course, because it doesn't actually go that fast. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> oh no, poor Chana. I know, I feel so bad for both of them. I mean, not at this point in the story, but later on. Oh, clever girl. Ah, she is. Yeah, she is. That was awesome. I want to read that again. Okay. Yeah, I want to read this part again, because that was awesome. That was amazing. Uh, well, it's something Miss Hyo A. Chong was telling me. She said it's impossible to embody a uh, playful elegance if you use mock flowers, right? She asked. I looked straight down. She was just too naive for this. She was going to be destroyed. Of course, he said. Okay, that makes sense, she said, enthusiastically. And then she said the unexpected. So, um, then don't you also lose the playful elegance if you use mock compliments? <laughs> she is a badass, that's awesome. Verbally punched that douchebag in the face. Spin? Oh no, ugh. What? She's a woman. What are you even saying, Yone? Embarrassing, but I'd... Uh, never mind. Is this what adult relationships are like? No, of course not. <laughs> like, we should take a break. Okay. Uh, actually, mute. There's something I'd like to talk about, if you don't mind. Okay, sure. I always thought, when I was alive and sick, that I'd love to be free of my body. That it'd be great to be free of all its stupid fragility. Turns out, not so much. Not so much. Like, I have a simulation of arms and legs and a face. So I don't go mad, but... Wait, you do? Yeah, I, you know, your body sort of affects the way you think, so it's important. I remember my real father telling me something about that as a kid. But you're the same program as me, and I don't have that. Huh? I keep telling you, I'm not the same program, we're not even the same base code. Jeez. 
I had a lot of time to myself, so I programmed that in myself. I guess an AI would know how to program, wouldn't they? Yes, they would. Wait, like, you can do that? You changed my code? I changed my code? Look, this isn't what I wanted to talk about. What I was trying to say was that even still, I really miss having a body a lot. I mean, it's been so exciting to talk to people, finally. Even you, Mute. Glad to hear it. I just really miss, well, touch. Especially while reading about things like visiting the plaza to buy flowers, like Ai Chong did. I just wish... Hey, when we, when we, when we reach Earth, You'll give me a body, right? Of course. Hyunae? <laughs> I guess it's not really much of a choice. It's just really important to me. What about you, Mute? Um, I don't know anything about this sort of thing. Obviously, I don't miss it. But aren't you curious? Don't you want to know what it's like to feel? To touch? I don't really have any use for that. But you've been in love before, right? <laughs> I'm still a woman, Hyunae. How do you think Smith, Sang Chung, would feel? Don't you think he'd want you to be able to touch, if you could? Don't just evoke something like that so casually. Sorry. But he did, of course. Sometimes I would even render my, myself with my hair let down in front of him. He liked that. Jeez, oh, why am I telling you this, though? I think that would be really nice. You could even find out just how heavy the real version of that giant headdress you used, uh, you used to wear was. <laughs> I wonder, what would it be like to have hair again? Could it be blown in the wind? Would it be fluffy? Uh, I wouldn't really know. It makes me think of Ryu Che Hua, my husband's wife. She'd comfort me and brush my hair. I, uh, I could do that for you, if you wanted. Why would I want that? <laughs> well, I just thought, because I liked it an awful lot. But now that I think of it, I just don't remember what it felt like to be touched like that. I don't remember touch at all. Do you think you'd be able to remind me, Mr. Investigator? Maybe we could hug, and you could touch my hair? Sure, that'd be alright. Oh, well, that's good. I don't even remember the feeling of that anymore, but I know it was really comforting. Really, I don't want to be stuck behind a computer screen forever. I just want to remember what it's like to be touched. Jeez, Yane, that's... that's way too brazen. Please don't get jealous on me, because he said yes. What? No. I'm not, I don't. Jeez, ah, I don't want that. I don't want it from you or him or anyone else. My hair stays up. Sorry, I didn't think it mattered that much to you. Ah, I will not be teased by a love-struck girl with a fixation on hair fluffiness. <laughs> This is amazing. Like, if this is what taking a break is like, I'd rather get back to work. God, I love the dynamic between the two. Alright, what message is that? Repair information? Yep. Rep repair the... Tune up your bloody deflectors regularly. Tune up your bloody deflectors regularly. And for the love of God, tune up your bloody def deflectors regularly. Or, sorry, deflector. Singular, not plural. I hate the mornings after. Girl feelings. I know what those are like. I don't think I want to know what that means. <laughs> oh my. Uh, maybe like, you shouldn't be reading things like this, Yane. <laughs> I 
just love the reactions. Shanae is getting all like, finds it like cute or embarrassing or something. And the Shanae is just kind of like angry and embarrassed. Just, their faces just tell everything. They tell the whole story. Her face, and then her face. <laughs> I wasn't really prepared for this kind of detail. Ah, oh, this is, that sounds like I, gosh. Something you'd what? Nothing, nothing at all. I don't find it romantic even slightly. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's so romantic, it's wonderful. Okay, so we're out of power. Yes, we are. Okay, so um, we're pretty much out of power for the day. I know, we wasted most of today's power on all that debugging. You should apologize again, Hene. Mute, come on. <laughs> what? But it's not my fault. Well, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry about her. Why are you so mean? Well, so much for them bonding. I'm not being mean, you're just being disrespectful. Jeez. Enough of the childish bickering, Hine. The important thing is, that's all we can do for today. Like, no matter how you look at it, it's going to take us all three days to get through, all, through this all. Well, maybe it's for the better that we pace it out anyway. It's not as if it's going to have a happy ending. <sighs> no, it doesn't. At least not, not for the people on the ship. I don't know what you're talking about. It all ended perfectly okay. And I don't want to wait. This whole time limit thing sucks. I'd stay up all night reading if I could. <laughs> Some more kind of like fourth wall breaking stuff. Self-commentary. Anyway, we can't. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, though. Oh, right. The Lunar New Year is tomorrow. Yep. Well, let's let him do any of his rituals first, then get back to us. Aw, but I want to get a new handbook to show off for him. And have... However you pronounce that. And... Uh, dear, your computer program, you cannot have soup. But... But your computer program, so you can't have soup. It's not possible. Don't be weird, okay? <laughs> she had soup. She had soup, mute. Fine, fine. Oh, man. So I guess if you... If you have Mute and Hyunae together, does Mute kind of just stop Hyunae from getting a new handbok and doing all that stuff? Anyway, uh... Right, like, we're out of power for today. I'll give you a button to shut down everything for the night. So, uh, whenever you're ready, just click on that. Okay, that's all. I still want to do all the proper New Year's stuff, though. Oh, shush. We'll be spending the New Year reading about Old Mute, our ancestor. That's close enough, isn't it? Uh, she's not my ancestor. Okay, whatever. We're not getting into this right now. Just click the shutdown button when you're all done, Mr. Investigator. Okay. So. Are you sure you want to shut down for today? Yep. Okay, let's let you go ahead and save your data first. Okay, all done. Well, good night. Man, I can't wait until tomorrow. End of day one. Okay, so yeah, this is going even faster than my previous playthrough of another alternative route did. And, uh... Yeah, the dynamic is really interesting. It's just... I think this is kind of the ridiculous route to take. There's all that fourth wall breaking and self-references, and also the fact that it should be impossible within the universe that it's set in to have both of them. So it's, it's ridiculous, but it's by far the most fun route through it. So this is really interesting. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow with uh, day two of the male harem route, which sounds weird, male harem, but yeah. That's what I'm going to call it. I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.